These days, singer-songwriters wear a lot of hats. Not only do we spend a lot of our time writing and performing our own material, but also quite busy self-producing it as well. Now, if you're a self-producing singer-songwriter who struggles to find the right plugins for mixing acoustic music, stay tuned. This video's for you. I've put together a shortlist of essential singer-songwriter-centric plugins to save you the pain of trawling the internet for mixing tools that can best serve you. This guide covers compressors, pitch correctors, effects, and more. Basically, all the essentials you need to produce great sounding acoustic music. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with future tips, tricks, and tutorials from waysaudio.com. Let's jump in. Starting with acoustic guitars, we've got these two plugins that we can use to get our guitar sounding more focused and detailed in a mix. We've got Maserati's ACG and CLA's Unplugged. Both provide controls for tone shaping and ambiences. Maserati's ACG is very good at making your guitar sound more focused. And with the effects section here, you can make your guitar sound more in a room. CLA's Unplugged provides a little bit more in terms of effects. We've got two channels of reverb, each with three different flavors and an additional delay. If you want to dive in a bit deeper with your processing, you should check out this, Shep's Omni Channel, an analog inspired channel strip. With this, I've got some filters, a bit of saturation, touch of sweetening EQ into a de to control some of the harshness into a compressor. Now, Sheps hasn't got any reverb built in, unlike the other two plugins, but you can load in an additional Waves plugin. And I've got the Abbey Road plates here. Which really does make this plugin a bit of a one-stop shop for all things mixing. So there you have it for acoustic guitars. You've got two very straightforward channel strips for adjusting tone dynamics and applying ambiences and something a little bit more involved for those that need to dive a little bit deeper into their acoustic guitar mixing. Let's move on to vocals and pitch correction. And you have two different flavors really when it comes to pitch correction. The first being a fast and automatic, all but robotic sound. It's a hugely popular effect. On the other side of the coin, you can also tune a vocal more surgically and transparently just to rein in some rogue notes in a performance. Now, Waves Tune Real Time lets us do that fast and fun tuning effect, especially if you have the speed and note transition set to its quickest position, along with the key of the song. It's going to sound like this. Are we just friends? Now, if you back these off slightly, you can have a more subtle effect. Are we just friends? Which is nice, but if you want truly transparent results, you're going to lean more towards using this, which displays pitch information here in the center matrix. Let's take a closer look. Now, in this performance, the first line, I love you, is a little bit sharp. Let's use Waves Tune to correct that. Let's take a listen Before first. You know I love you, I love you. And I so it's this line here. And what we can do is highlight those notes. Use the note tool and just put it down. We've got this G and I need it to be an F sharp. It just ever so slightly overshoots. We can use this pencil tool now to correct that. Let's take another listen. You know I love ya, I love ya. Do the same over here to this F sharp and we're done. So there you have it as two pitch correction tools. One that can be used, let's say, as more of an effect. The other as more of a tool to get your vocal sounding absolutely spot on. Now let's talk compressors. These two, Renaissance Fox and CLA-2A, are not only brilliant sounding compressors, but they're so easy to use because their attack and release times and ratio, all of that stuff is taken care of under the hood. All we have to worry about is how much compression we want to apply to our vocal. Now the main difference between these two are in sound. So the CLA-2A is an analog emulation, 
It has a nice saturation to it if you push it too hard. The Renaissance Vox is a cleaner sounding compressor and has an additional gate, which is great for removing mouth artifacts between lines. Let's compare both of these compressors on the lead vocal and hear how they sound against the unprocessed vocal, which has quite a wide dynamic range in this section. Cause I don't know the score, you know I love ya, I love ya. Cause I don't know the score, you know I love ya, I love ya. Cause I don't know the score, you know I love ya, I love ya. Both do a great job there of squeezing the dynamic range, so attenuating the loud bits to be more level with the softer parts in her vocal. Now it's not uncommon for sibilance to become a bit of an issue in a mix when you use compression. Sibilance in vocal recordings is a harsh top end sound which can distract from the performance. So we use these DSs to help attenuate that. And we've got these two, Waves DSer and Renaissance DSer. They're extremely similar. Both have the same controls for mode, thresholds, frequency, but they differ slightly in design. So Renaissance DSer is a good tool to use if you struggle to dial in DSer values because this display is very good at showing you what's going on. Now the Waves DSer has a very minimal display just showing you attenuation and threshold meters, which some engineers like to use because they're not getting distracted by visual ballistics. Let's move on now to some all-in-one mixing solutions for mixing vocals really quickly. And we've got Greg Wells Voice Centric and CLA's Vocals. With Voice Centric, we have this main central dial here, which does quite a lot of EQ and dynamics processing all in one twist of the dial along with some lovely sounding delay, doubler for bringing out some width in a performance and reverb, where over on the CLA vocals, we've got a little bit more on offer. Bass and treble controls, compressor, reverb delay, and pitch, again, for adding a bit of stereo interest. Each of these have three flavors, so this can be as simple or as complicated as you like it to be. Over on the voice centric, we have less options, but it's simpler to use. Are we just friends? I don't know anymore. Are we just friends? Cause I don't know the score. You know I love ya, I love ya, and I won't have you all to myself. All to myself. Are we just friends? Cause you know. I want more, are we just friends? Cause I don't know the score, you know I love ya, I love ya, and I wanna have you all to myself, all to myself, are we just friends? Let's finish up now by looking at two reverb plugins that are worth checking out if you mix acoustic music. We've got Abbey Road's Plates and H Reverb. Out of the two, Abbey Road's Plates is simpler to use. We've got four different plates here based on the original Abbey Road Plates. Damper control for adjusting the timing, treble and bass EQ, pre-delay, and a couple of other controls as well. It's very straightforward and plates always work on vocals. H Reverb is a little bit more involved. It can be as simple or as complex as you like it to be. From a simple point of view, you can make good use of all of the presets that are in here. We've got halls, chambers, rooms, you name it, it's all there. But if you want to go a step further, you can make things sound quite dreamy and interesting with input and output echoes, dynamics, distortion, modulation. Take a little listen. I'm going to go between both of these reverbs, starting with the plates. Are we just friends? I don't know anymore. Are we just friends? Because I don't. Let's hear the H reverb, and I've dialed this in to sound quite dreamy. Are we just friends? I don't know anymore. Are we just friends? Cause I don't know the score. You know I love ya, I love ya, and I wanna have you all to myself, all to myself. Whether you're a songwriter just starting out in the world of production or a seasoned self-producing musician with many releases under your belt, 
Hopefully, this shortlist helps you on your way to making some great sounding music. I hope you guys got something from this. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. And I wanna have you all to myself, all to myself. Are we just friends?